What is going on guys, Matt here and welcome to another episode of our Leeds career mode series. Uh, so just a quick recap, how we got in the previous episode before we get into this one. We did have an FA Cup tie against Brighton. Uh, I, I did submit because I didn't really, I'm not too bothered about a cup run at the moment. We want to get into the Prem, uh, that's our main uh, objective. So I did submit, we got a 0-0 draw, so an extra game, so I weren't too happy about that. Uh, we had the league game against Sheffield Wednesday where the game was dreadful. It was so boring. There was uh, no highlights really whatsoever. Uh, nothing to really show you if you can remember. Uh, yeah, so it's a disappointing 0-0 draw. Not even an entertaining 0-0 draw. It's just dreadful. Uh, then we had our replay against Brighton which I also simulated again. And we lost 3-0. So I'm not too bothered about going out of the cup. Uh, we went on to a 4-1 win against QPR. So good win finishing off the episode with a 3-2 win against Millwall so we made it hard work but we got uh, seven points out of nine so a decent episode uh, today's episode is going to include a game against Wigan a tasty one against uh, Nottingham Forest and then finishing off with a against a decent side as well in Brentford so uh, knowing our luck we are going to lose against Wigan beat the other two but um, obviously getting 9 points out of 9 it would be good Nottingham Forest are absolutely smashing the league at the moment I'll just quickly show you that now so as you can see Forest are on 81 points uh, at the top they are absolutely smashing it 11 uh, yeah, eleven points clear of West Brom uh, we're 8 points clear of West Brom so there's a bit of a distance between us and Forest uh, I don't think even beating them is going to make it up obviously so it's not going to put a dent in a dent in, uh, any of the standings so the only way we could uh, hopefully go up this season is obviously getting second but West Brom are eight points clear so we need them to slip up and we've got to stop slipping up so yeah it's we've got to concentrate on our own results first so we get into the uh, Wigan game then uh, our strongest lineup at well Lee is starting um, Roberts and Hernandez are both better than him but I do want to try and develop Lee into our main centre of attacking mid Hernandez is getting on a bit now uh, and Roberts is a decent player to be fair, he's, he's been on fire this year, uh, but I, I will have him more of a backup. Lee is developing really nicely, I think he was 66 when we first had him and we haven't had him in the team that long from the youth academy, so uh, he's going up really quickly in training, so it's very nice to see. So he's going to get a start just beyond Greenwood. So we're going to get straight into it then guys. Phillips, Lee, to Greenwood. Greenwood in the back of the net. Greenwood puts us 1 0 up. 15 minutes on the clock. And Lee gets an assist as well. Happy for the young lad, for our prospect. So good to see he's jallying with Greenwood. And Greenwood tucks his shot, his right footed shot, his weaker foot effort into the back of the net and puts Leeds 1 0 up. Low plays a ball over the top to Jacobs oh almost committed the foul oh Jacobs does so well as soon as I passed the ball over the top I started yawning Jesus Christ I uh, couldn't really get my words out but oh Jacobs does so well to be fair to cut inside to ride the tackle and to finish into the side corner we committed with a tackle to be fair so it's lucky that we never committed the foul because we probably would have got sent off as well so I'd uh, would you rather take a goal than a penalty and the sending off? I think you would, wouldn't you? But fair play to him. you got to give him full credit for that goal. Williams. They play a ball out to low. Can he get the crossing? He can. Oh, it falls to him. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, we can't clear. Jesus. What a block by White. We tried to play our way out of the defence. Out of danger. And to be fair, White with the block. To be fair, it might have been going in. Lee. Ball over the top for Harrison. Oh, gets a bit lucky. Lee. Oh, it's a poor effort. Dallas. It's the furthest man forward. Jesus. Harrison on his right foot. Oh, forces Marshall into a save. Oh, that's a great ball. Garner, that's a great save. Jesus. Oh, 
Oh, Alioski. It's a ball over the top. Harrison. Come on, son. Come on. Come on. Oh, can we? Oh, Greenwood. The last kick of the game. We had a great chance. First in Harrison. And then Greenwood. And we just couldn't pull it in the back of the net. Disappointing result. 1-1. One, one. I did say we were going to slip up against a weaker team in Wigan. But... To be fair, they were so difficult to break down. Really difficult. Oh, uh, God. We keep dropping points. And we don't make it any easier for ourselves. 1-1 one, one it finished. So before the big match against Nottingham Forest, I thought I'd do a press conference and see what they've got to say. So they've said, uh, do you hope to keep the unbeaten streak going? Uh, I'm just going to say we're unbeaten for a reason. Because I'm sure we've lost recently, so I don't know what they're on about, but... Uh, are you confident playing against the league leaders? It's an open match. All to play for. Final question. Uh, can you win this time around? Uh, I'm going to say it's a tough battle. So this is how the league table looks now. I'm just going to quickly show you. We are fourth. Uh, one point behind Fulham. We're third. Ten points behind West Brom in second. And then we are 21 points behind Fowey. So... A uh, bit of a difference there, so I think it's best we can, I've said it a couple of times, best we can hope for is second. Forest have stormed the league this year. Uh, I think they are still unbeaten as well in the league, so it's going to be a tough game. Hopefully we can uh, give them their first loss of the season. And we've just got to win our remaining two games in the episode now to make it decent. We've got to put the pressure on West Brom, we keep slipping up and it's not acceptable. So this is how we line up then. A couple of players were struggling for fitness. Uh, Lee, our centre attacking mid, was going to start. But Roberts comes in. Uh, Lee was struggling for fitness. Doku comes in for Howard Acosta. Howard Acosta was lacking fitness as well. Uh, but Howard Acosta is currently on loan. And I doubt we are going to sign him for next season. So Doku probably will be our main uh, right winger for next season. Probably even now, to be fair. I might start playing him in our first eleven now. Just to get his attributes up now. Ready for next season whether we are in the Prem or struggling it out in the Championship again. Our two centre-halves, Cooper and White, both are struggling for a bit of fitness, but I'm going to stick with them. I've been really impressed with both of them. So that is how we line up, guys. We're going to get straight into this important game against Forest. Greenwood. Click. To Phillips. Oh, decent effort from Phillips. Our first chance of the game. Could have put us 1-0 up. It was bouncing a bit, so it was a great effort, to be fair. Forces the keeper to dive, but just over. Oh, lovely little ball over the top. Great save. Phillips intercepts Raul Roberts. Feeds Doku. He's got the pace. Oh, oh little chip. Oh, and their defender gets back in time to clear it off the line. The chip didn't have enough power. Phillips. Oh, we get it back to Phillips. Oh, forces Samba into a save. Great play from Greenwood in a tight angle. Little fake shot. Feeds Phillips on the edge of the area. Or even in the area, I think he was. But he forces Samba into a save. Roberts. Feeds Doku. Who in turn feeds Greenwood. This is our chance. This is our best chance. Oh, my God, Greenwood. What a strike that was. 60, uh, 69 minutes on the clock, sorry. And Greenwood gets a chance. The ball is fed from Doku to Greenwood. He still has a lot to do, to be fair. But, my God, we needed that. We really did, and we need to win this game. He still has a lot to do. Like I said, look at that. He has a lot to run, uh, a lot of space to run into, and he does. Thankfully, on his right foot, with them pink boots of his, puts his right-footed effort into the back of the net and puts Leeds 1-0 up against the uh, current league leaders who are currently unbeaten as well. Aileen plays in Phillips. He hasn't got enough pace to beat his man. So he gives it to Roberts who in turn squares it. Oh and Greenwood can't miss. What a goal that was. To be fair it's a sweaty goal. <laughs> We've played it across. We've gone for the tapping but against Forest you need these kind of goals. And luckily the ball doesn't go over the crossbar. Wasn't far off. But thankfully Greenwood's there to grab his brace and to grab Leeds his second of the game. 2-0. Click to Greenwood. Can he try and get his hat-trick? Oh, falls to him. Nice. Oh, he's shot just wide. 
what a goal that would have been to top it off and for him to get his hat trick it falls nice to him to be fair and he has to go for the volley then and he's not far wide into the final minute of stoppage now they've got it with Lolly he gives it to Cash back to Lolly looks like they were trying to work it wide they've got a man in the middle oh Amiobi no it's not it's Da Costa god I got them mixed up they're both tall Da Costa I hope it's only a consolation I think it will be this late on but to be fair it's good football for me that's a great finish into the corner our keeper stood no chance and it is Da Costa can't believe I got mixed up between him and Amiobi but well, it's 2-1 so just as we're about to kick off I assume the ref's going to blow there it is there's a full time whistle oh thank god for that we've beat uh, the league leaders or current league leaders in Forest to be fair we might have done uh, done Baggies a favour obviously they're still going to be ahead of Baggies but I think they have lost now their unbeaten run um, I don't think they lost before us so I didn't really check to be fair but I'm happy to win against Forest the best team in the league at the moment and it shows that in the league table in the league table they've only conceded something about 16 between 16 and 20 goals so and Greenwood got two for us so great result three points in the bag so we got into the final game of the episode game against Brentford uh, obviously we've got to push on now and get another three points uh, that win against Forest is a great result considering how well they are doing in the league uh, so we have had to change our players about second string team now but Obviously, we've still got the quality. Costa comes in now to the second string team because I do want to start playing Doku more. Lee just behind Augustine as well. Augustine's he's scored quite a couple of goals this season as well, so I think he got a hat trick in one of the games. And we got a decent back four. So uh, hopefully we can get a result, like I said, and uh, make this episode decent and try and hopefully the other team slip up in Fulham and Baggies and give us a bit of a chance. So we're going to get straight into it. Lee gets a runner from Eliasson I don't think he scored much this season but my god what a goal that was I can't remember him being on the score sheet many times to be fair but it was a great ball from Lee Eliasson still has a lot to do but he's got the pace to get away from his man and a left footed effort into the roof of the net what a goal it was that's a great run to be fair and it's a great ball from Lee and from, Jesus what a great strike that is the keeper didn't even try didn't even try he knew it was going in as soon as he hit it what a goal puts Leeds 1-0 up oh they've given it away to Augustine Augustine can he make us 2-0 up he can 9 minutes in not long after Eliasson just put us 1-0 up and Augustine puts the ball into the back of the net oh it's a great start for Brentford they gift us the goal to be fair they give us the ball in the middle Augustine I can't say he really reads it but they just pass it to him like he weren't even there but he still has to finish he still has to do a job and he does that and he puts Leeds 2-0 up Douglas oh Eliasson Augustine needs a bit of support to be fair he's done a lot on his own Augustine oh great block by Henry their left back coming across to get the block in Augustine tried to get his second of the game. It's a great block. Oh, they've given it away. Eliasson. Augustine, is he on side? Hey, he is. The flag hasn't gone up. Augustine, finesse shot. Augustine gets his brace. He's second of the game. And he puts Leeds 3-0 up. Still in the first half. And to be fair, they've gifted two goals to us. They've gave it away and Augustine is only there to pull it away and he's very happy oh we needed this we really did it's a great first half now they've got it on the wing we've got a chance here can they do anything with it they pull it back can they get the cross oh they've got the ball in sorry they get the shot in and it's 3-1 they've got a goal back there's about 20 minutes left to play twitchy bum time 3-1 Costa have we got a chance here? Hernandez, who's come on recently as a sub. Oh, tries a bit of skill. Probably should have gave it simple. But there's a full-time whistle. It didn't matter. A 3-1 win for Leeds. Great result. Scoring our three goals in the first half. So it's pretty much over in the first half. So they did grab a consolation with a decent little uh, build-up play it was from them. Uh, and they've squared it inside. But 
I'm happy with that. Obviously, seven points out of nine would have been better to beat Wigan, but I'm very happy to beat a team like Brentford and Nottingham Forest. So, and Augustine grabbing a brace. Very happy. So that does bring us to the end of the episode. Uh, this is the league table. As you can see, we are fourth, 69 points, one point off Fulham. We have got two better goal difference, so um, obviously that might do us a bit of a favour. If we ever get on the same points, we will uh, go ahead of them, not just on goal difference. Uh, West Brom in second with 79, 10 points clear from us. Uh, so every time we win, they seem to win, so no other teams seem to be slipping up. And Forest at top with 87 points. So West Brom have closed the gap, obviously must have been due to uh, our, our result against them. So we've done baggies a favour, but obviously we need baggies to slip up more than anyone. Um, but it's 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 our only chance isn't it to be fair second place because Forest are running away with it against us anyway so it's going to be difficult but there's 14 games left uh, we've got to try and win win at least 10 I'll be happy win at least 10 games from 14 so just have a look to you right you can see the latest results how Fulham and Baggies did get on Fulham won 2-1 against Millwall Baggies won 2 1 against the Reading, so they made it hard work for themselves. Um, Millwall and Reading looked like they pulled up a bit of a fight, but unfortunately, they couldn't help us out. Both home as well, they were Millwall and Reading, so couldn't even make home advantage count, so disappointing. So, next episode is going to include three league games Bristol City, Reading, and finishing off with Middlesbrough. So, this episode weren't too bad, I don't think. Uh, seven points out of nine, so an unbeaten episode. Would have been better to get nine points out of nine. But I did say that we were going to end up slipping up against Wigan uh, and then beating Forest and Brentford and look what happened, it did. So I kind of jinxed us to be fair, I wish I never said it. Uh, but very happy to get results against Brentford and Forest, especially Forest who are running away with the league. So yeah, it, it weren't too bad, we just got to hope other teams slip up. But with 14 games left, there's still quite a lot of games, so anything could happen. So that is the end of the episode guys, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And make sure you catch the next episode out. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Take care. See you soon.